Friday, May 20th. You know, it's a long way to Atlanta, Georgia from Skid Row. It's about 2,496 miles to be exact. So, Wode, don't think that I'm making that trip in vain. Don't think that Crystal Rose is just another player in the game. In Deep South Wrestling, elimination, the only thing that's going to be eliminated is you. That Shine Nova Women's Championship is going to look real good on the back of my Harley on the ride home. So now that I've made that crystal clear, you can go get bit. May 20th in Atlanta, Georgia. My hometown. Crystal Rose. You want to come up to Deep South Wrestling where I train. You want to come into my, my space, my spot, my home. And try to take my title. You know, Crystal, I don't know if you're aware of the blood, sweat, and tears that I had to not only pour, but I had to shed to get this title. Maybe you're not aware of the severity, of the brutality of what I will do to keep this title. And yes, Krista, you and I have gone toe to toe in the past. And I know all about you. But let me tell you something. You have never faced the one-eyed, thick thigh wall. No, no, no. You have never gone toe to toe with the human wrecking ball. So you know what, Crystal? At Mixed Deity Studios, at Deep South Wrestling, I'm gonna make you feel. I'm gonna make you know. I'm gonna make you understand, Crystal, why I am the weapon of ass destruction and why, why Crystal, why you should, without a doubt, watch out for the world. Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no, Let's go. conquer yeah. the obstacle yeah. Let's To go. the top, here I go, think I'm chosen yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken I can hear the tick-tock of the clock, I'm in motion So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion Yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Ready to go, man, lock and load That's right I swear to God that I could drop you, bro Yeah, I got a shot at night Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Women's Pro Wrestling Network And this match is brought to you by Deep South Wrestling Be sure to check out Deep South Wrestling on all their social media platforms that they have brought a winner of a match here to you tonight. It is for the Shine Nova Championship. It will be the Wode taking on the natural born legend Crystal Rose. This is your host commentator, Mr. Green. And speaking of the Wode, there she is walking, parading through the crowd with her pride and joy, the Shine Nova Championship. It is the very same championship that the, uh, I guess you would consider it the next tier title in Shine, held by such names as Priscilla Kelly, who we now know as Gigi Dolan on NXT 2.0, by Shotzi Blackheart, by the longest reigning Shine Nova champion, Natalie Markova, who the world defeated to become the new Shine Nova champion. And speaking of longest reigning, as of this recording, she is the second longest reigning Shine Nova champion in the promotion's history. A big coup for her. 
and I know that she is going to do everything in her power to be the longest reigning champion. She's got a big hill to climb, but if anybody could do it, it could be that woman right there, the weapon of ass destruction, the woe. And she has got a treat happening here because she is working in her hometown. And you can probably tell by the uh, crowd uh, interaction, or the reaction, I should say, that they have to her, that she is the favorite walking into this. And here we have the opponent, the natural born legend, Crystal Rose. Now, both of these ladies have been represented on this channel on numerous occasions with different locations, and in some cases, different incarnations. So for those of you who are long time viewers, you know exactly what they are about. And uh, we can hear as she walks into this place, Crystal Rose is not the best uh, liked person in this particular environment. I know that she's uh, been beloved in some cases, but certainly not here. She is not beloved, and I don't think she's doing anything to... As I was about to say, she's not doing anything to endear herself to the audience, and that was one of those right there. She's telling everybody that they will give her the respect that she deserves. Now, athletically, yes, she should probably get that respect, but uh, attitude-wise, maybe not so much. This may be the biggest match of uh, the Natural Born Legends career. Ben Adams, referee trained by the great Nick Patrick. So now she is representing Skid Row, which is uh, really across the country. As she said she was going to take the title and ride it to Quebec on her Harley. I don't know why she wouldn't take a plane, but you know, teach your own. Come on. <laughs> she never heard a shine, of course, right. So if you didn't understand it, she's Crystal Rose basically said that the road has too many outs. I guess that would be her way of uh, accepting the challenge, but I guess we're on the way right now. She has accepted Crystal Rose's challenge of a skid road match, which essentially is just a, a no holds barred match. No rules. As I was about to say earlier, Crystal Rose said that she thought that the world had too many outs. Sunset flip. She goes over and the world catches the balance and now she, oh boy. She's about to come down on her with a seated splash. Great timing and great reflexes by Crystal Rose. Catches with a kick in the back, drop kick to the front, and now she's going immediately for the cover. Hooks the leg. 
Rode kicks out. And she kicks out with authority at the one. Forearm shot. Tries to go for arm drag and the Rode stops that. And another one looks like another arm drag attempt and that's not happening. Shoulder block sends Crystal Rose down to the mat. Now remember, this is now a skid road match, a no hose barred event, which takes the championship advantage away from the road. A kick to the side of the head and it hit right on the button. That might have rung a bell, but certainly not enough to stop him from pressing forward. Knee lift right into the guts. Well, it sends Crystal Rose into the turnbuckles, charges in, but she catches the turnbuckles herself. And now here comes Crystal Rose. I said on a couple of the matches, if you go back and see the videos, that she has exquisite use of her legs. But as much as she has exquisite use of her legs, the road! You talk about perfect timing. <laughs> I was about to say, as much as Crystal Rose has exquisite use of her legs, the road has made a career, and there we go, off of uh, the use of her backside, and I say that as nicely as I can. <laughs> without uh, coming off insulting or anything. <laughs> you know, I don't want to sound like I'm uh, looking at this any more than being a professional. And now, speaking of a backside, she tunes it up. Cheeks for weeks, she charges in. And Crystal Rose is not a rookie. She is not new to this. What did they say? She's not new to this and true to this. She got out of the way. She knew it was coming, paced herself, ducked down, pulled the rope with her, sent the rope to the floor. And now she drops down with an axe handle on the floor, which has no mats. Shoves her face first into the steel post on the outside. And if we're going to go by what many a commentator has said in the past, flesh versus the post, the post will win, or steel versus the post. Steel versus flesh. Yeah, easy for me to say. Get it right. It was a chop. And there's another one. Brings it down, overhand, right across the chest of the Wode. Now she's trying to lift her up, she being Crystal Rose, and she doesn't have the strength, apparently, to do it. There's a second try, there's a third. She's trying to get a knee. And all she caught was an elbow to the back of the head for her troubles. Wode sends her in. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the uh, Shine Nova Championship. There's a wreck of the eye. Now we, it is completely documented that the woe is one eye. She has gone on record and said that many times. Neck breaker by Crystal Rose. One. And out at the one is the woe. And as I was saying, now she's going for the cover again. And again, the road is out at the one. But uh, getting back to it, she wrecked the eyes earlier. And I was saying, she's, she's a one-eyed competitor. And believe me, folks, that is not a gimmick. That's not something that she said because she thought it was cool. Her eye has been surgically removed. So that, that does make some, uh, some adjustments for her in the ring peripherally. But if she has not done anything since that surgery, she has gotten better amazingly. Chris Rose is going for a sleeper, but got driven into the turnbuckles, but she has made a stern stuff. Comes off with her ax handle. There's those kicks. Again, proficient use of the legs by Crystal Rose. And she's trying to shoot her off of the ropes, I guess. Here we go. Tries and the road hooks the rope. Second time by Rose. And the road again hooks it. There's a kick right into the ribs. It is the uh, weapon of choice by the natural born legend. And now a choke in the corner. And remember, it's a skid row rules. The referee, for all intents and purposes, has no power in that regard. And Rose could choke right in front of the ref, and it won't make any difference. She cannot disqualify. The Wode did agree to the match. There was a second choke out on the opposite end turnbuckle. And now she's uh, jaw jacking with her a little bit, is Crystal Rose, and biting her in the forehead. 
Hydeens did not like that. And there's a forearm shot. That one landed with some authority there. Hooks over. Looked like she may be going for snapmare, perhaps. No, the Wolf stops it. And he maybe bombs away by the Wolf. Look if she could drop it down. No, Crystal Rose switches her body around, catches her in the sleep. Remember, Crystal Rose, although she has not had to travel, she is one of wrestling's best kept secrets. She's been in the ring with the former NWA Women's Champion, Casey Carlisle. Been in the ring with the Wild Superstar, Harlow O'Hara. Been in the ring with MLW presence and, and uh, Southern Violence presence, Brooklyn Creed. She has been around. She's had the Jerry Lawler rule in where they, uh, the, the competitors have come to her, whereas the world has traveled the country. Oh, my gosh. The world tried to catch with that backside again, and this time Rose was ready for it, turning it into a power bomb. Brilliant maneuver, but not enough to keep her down. There's a drop kick. Again, look at hooking the leg, going for that cover. She is fighting very hard to win a championship for a company she allegedly is not aware of. And there's the audience, they're rooting for the Wode. She is clearly the uh, favorite in this crowd. I don't think Crystal Rose is all that concerned or she may be a little agitated. She's yelling at the audience saying, here's your hero. I have seen the world in many a matchup with many a competitor. I named off a couple of, like I said, not Natalie Markova. She defeated the longest reigning Nova champion. Now she's got a choke in on uh, Crystal Rose. But she's been in the, the ring with the likes of Aja Pereira before she went to the WWE. Holla did. Casey Carlisle herself, matter of fact. Road has her hooked in, maybe for a back, no, not a backslide. A rear end bump, a hip attack, and speaking of hip attacks. I said her backside has become her weapon of choice, hence the name. She's the weapon of ass destruction. Don't go running around repeating that, kids. Both of them are down. You have to question what might happen here, being that this is a uh, skid roll rules match. You can only guess that if neither one of them get up, that the title would be retained. Again, a big match for Trista Rose. Big, big match for Trista Rose, and a big match for the world, in fact. She's decided to take this championship, and she's decided to go around with it, and she's decided to take on every competitor that wanted a shot. No one can ever discount her as being a fighting champion. These forearm shots being exchanged between the two ladies, center of the ring. Now, Chris Rose decides enough of that, goes for it, locking in a headlock, but not good enough because she caught a knee to it. There's a second one. Into the turnbuckle, she is tossed. Here comes the Wode with a splash in the corner. Second time around. Chris Rose tried to catch her with a kick. This time the world was prepared. There's a little sit-out slam there, and a seated splash, vertical splash by the world. And, wow, she got that shoulder up despite the uh, pinning predicament. I mean, it probably took every bit of energy that she had Crystal Rose got the shoulder up and broke the pin. You saw the world was a little bit uh, surprised. She's like, that should have been a three. And by all accounts, it should have been. She's got her up in a, a no. I was going to say she's got her up in a fall away, looking for bombs away. But again, Crystal Rose is able to switch her body, shift herself over into a sleeper. The sleeper, although not used very often in a lot of wrestling promotions, is a time-tested maneuver. It's a maneuver that has won championships for the likes of Vern Gagne and Nick Botwinkle, amongst others. Not flashy, but it works. It puts people down. And the world is trying everything she can to get herself back up to a vertical base, get her feet underneath her, and change this to where she can win and not go down. 
I see Crystal Rose, Crystal Rose Rick, bringing the fingers across the eyes. And again, rakes the eyes. And this time, not only did she rake the eyes, she dug in and, and pulled the eye patch off. And she's gone out and she's got herself a chair by ringside. And the referee's saying no, but she has no control over this. Looks like Crystal Rose is trying to neutralize the Wolves weapon. And that might have been a bad choice. I mean, on paper it made sense. Maybe if I can tenderize this thing that she won't be able to use it against me anymore. But no, it didn't work. It only served to make her mad. And now she's trying to shake hands. Now she's trying to say, hey, let's, let's put this aside. Let's be friends here. Went for a wide swing and then she gets hoisted up. And this is the what the third attempt bombs away. There's a weapon. And that's destruction. And no. Crystal Rose is fighting to win this championship. Certainly as much as the world is fighting to retain. And now the world has spotted the steel chair. She's setting it up in the corner. Now, if I know the world like I think I do, there's one maneuver that she has in her arsenal that has worked regardless of who she's been in the, wing with, the ring with. And that's been the damnesia. It is the hip attack amongst all hip attacks. A lot of ladies try it, but there's only one damnesia. She's tooting it up. Cut charges in. And quick reflexes by the natural born legend. Takes it with a drop to hold. Drives her face first into the chair. And that might be, No, it's not going for the cover. I thought that might have been it. I thought she might have gone for the cover. But Crystal Rose is looking for a bigger coup de grace. She's looking for something to put this away. Definitely. She's going to the top rope. She's saying that's it. There's a sky twister. Sky twister press. She caught nothing but the canvas. And keep in mind, folks, if you've never been in a wrestling ring, there's a, there's a little bit of padding and canvas between wood boards and steel, and that's the wrong place for her to be. Crystal Rose's instinct told her to crawl over and try to get in, but that set her up for the damnation. And no one, and I mean no one up to this point, up to date, has ever kicked out of the damnesia. They gave the full announcement of the name there, and they, I can't say it any better. The winner of this is the weapon of ass destruction, the wound. That means that she will return to Shine Wrestling, still the Shine Nova Champion. Crystal Rose put up a valiant effort, although not very liked by the crowd, a valiant effort, close, but no cigar. Guns and buns. Guns and buns. Guns and buns. He saw the full blacked out glass eye there. Wode goes back as the victor and she will remain the Nova champion. 